group of 12 strangers, torn from their everyday lives, are shipwrecked on a string of deserted islands in the South Pacific. Among washed up luggage, scattered resources, and abandoned structures, they're lost, stranded, and alone. There are only two ways to escape the islands. Survive until a rescue team arrives, or quit. This social experiment tests the human need for companionship. Will they choose to survive alone? Or will they attempt to find the others? These 12 castaways must decide. This is their story. I'm stranded on a deserted island, and I don't know who else is out there. I don't know how many people there are or where they are. I don't know where my bag is. What the hell is that? Hell yeah. Sweet. But I do seem to have someone else's stuff. At this point, everything is unknown, except for the goal. And that is to survive long enough to get rescued. I have no idea when that might be. Whether I do that alone or I find others, that's what I need to figure out. Oh my God. All I know is I can control Nothing. Everything here is unpredictable. <laughs> That'll go over my arm. Savage is he who saves himself. Among other evils which being unarmed brings you, it causes you to be despised. Victory shifts from man to man. In the world that I live in. Here we go, first guy. I have a very safe life. Here we go. Let's go! My family means the world to me. All the laughter and us being together. Yeah! yeah! But when I am alone, you know, life's not easy. I would say that I have an addictive personality. It's not to drugs. 
it's not the alcohol, but it's the food. I don't understand why when the day is completely over and I have put my kids to bed and the house is quiet, why I turn to food. I start tearing it up and I just eat and eat and keep eating. Then I get up, feel guilty in the morning and then go through another day. I am 390 pounds. And if I keep doing what I'm doing, I will be dead, period. In the bag I found, he had a journal in there. I read it. It's a man in love. So like a gentleman, I escorted her home. That night, we sealed our true love with a kiss. <laughs> I think that he might be out there. The mystery man. <sighs> Hell yeah. My biggest fear was to die alone. I always wanted to be part of a team. When I was a kid, I had this dream that I was in a military uniform. And I woke up and I was like, that's my thing, that's my destiny. And I started training since then. I was in the military for about seven years. And uh, I learned a lot from that. On a lot of things about life, about duty. But transitioning out of the military is pretty tough. I just lost myself for a very long time. But when I met Elise, she just made me feel like I can do anything. Out here, you're alone by yourself. You actually need people around you. There's some other islands out here. I want to find some other people. I think we're gonna have to go that way. Hell yeah. I was in a cove and there was nothing there. I wanted to find someone day one or find a place that I felt could provide resources for survival. Oh, there is someone over there. I hope they found my bag. It's got some good inspirational stuff in there, plus there's some food, because I like to snack. <laughs> so many ants. They're gonna be all over me. I found a washed up suitcase on shore. It belongs to a guy I don't know, but his name is Robbie. No way. Robbie, you are a man. This is gonna save my life tonight. You got a thing for me. You 
say you don't believe I I don't do my numbers You told me you're not Now what if this is a song about being in a relationship and realizing that it's holding you back and you have to let it go. There you go. We gotta stay on the theme, man. This is about you moving forward because the relationship's holding you back. If you have your way, I can't have my way. That's why I have to give you up. This ain't better for the both of us. This ain't better for the- It's not better for the both of us. It's because it's only better for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You don't like being the bad guy. Cheers. I want to thank Robbie, wherever you are, for putting harmonicas in your bag. I promise I'm going to find you. I promise. Because I don't know how long I'll last alone. I saw someone across the ocean. I probably would say it was 12 football fields across. All right, I'm good. You can do it, son. There's 100% someone over there, and they have a shelter. I think if you want to survive, you have to find people. I can put the backpack on there and pull it like a raft. If you want to go fast, go alone. Screw it. Bag on, I'm going for it. If you want to go far, go together. And I, I want to go far. I got this. fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I hadn't realized that the tides and the currents were like they are yet. And I got caught in a riptide. And it just kept pulling me. <sighs> There was no way I was making it across. It had me, and it was taking me out towards the ocean. And I panicked. It starts to take your breath away. You start thinking, someone help me, someone save me, and there's no one there. I did think of Hannah Brooke. She's such a good swimmer. Are you concerned with me being this heavy? No, I've never thought about it. I've never been like, oh, wow, tonight my dad can die. Until mom said it the other day. Like, she was like, yeah, dad could have a heart attack any minute. Like, it's, he's more at risk. Literally, every day is a difficult day for me. Would you understand that? I mean, yeah. But you just need, like, positive reinforcement. Like, I feel like... You put it into your mind, we learn this all about in cross country. You put it into your mind that you do the same thing every day and you just get bored and you end up like not caring. <sighs> I think you get your bad mental health from doing the same things over and over again. It's all mental for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have really bad mental skills. I'm working on it. I had to keep going. And way off in the distance, I saw a hut. And I knew this is where I'm headed. And I just started kicking, kicking, kicking. <laughs> Can you believe I found that? Someone has lived here, I don't know how long ago. Hell yeah. Hello? 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 
I just want to know who's out here. I want to know who has my bag. It's a beautiful place here, but man, is it harsh. You've got to feed yourself, and if you fail, it's just a downward spiral. Let's see what we're dealing with here. If you walk back in the jungle, there's a bunch of holes in the ground. Oh man, whatever it is, they're all over. So I set a couple of snares because I thought they were rats. Oh yeah, I had them. And then he started to pinch through that. So they're crab. And the other one that I had was over here. Oh yeah, it's tight as hell. Oh yeah, he's on there. He's pulling on it. I got you pretty good, buddy. Every aspect of life at home is taken for granted. Oh man, he's buried deep. He's just pulling against me right now. Oh, you are tough. Are you really that strong? Being in a situation like this, it all puts everything in perspective. Ooh, bunch of red rock. <sighs> like to raise a toast to Mr. Richard Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. He's been taking care of us for years. Probably saved us from multiple calamities as young adults. And uh, we're all here to celebrate his foray into the committed world. Would Kim be happy for you? Like it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's amazing, Libby's awesome. You guys all mean a lot to me. To have everybody like this that are important in my life, man, I can't ask for a better group of friends. Cheers. How deep are you? Okay. Oh, look at that pincher. Look at that pincher. There you are, buddy. There you go. Where's this other pincher now? Oh, that's too risky to grab him. Wanna stick your hand down in that hole with that thing? I don't think so. I hate doing that to him. I just wish I wouldn't have pulled so hard. It still wants to pinch me. Oh man. This island will learn to respect me and I will learn to respect this island. Oh, I'm hungry. I think the hardest thing out here is the unknown. Not knowing what's out there, not knowing who's out there, not knowing what other resources are out there and not knowing how long I'm gonna be out here. That's hard. That's really hard. It was the longest night of my life. Thank God it didn't rain, because I don't think I would have made it. I need a new shelter. And um, I'm excited to see what else is on this island, because if there's nothing here or a better place that I can make shelter, if there aren't any people, I need to find a different spot. Where am I? I don't 
know where I am. It's like an old fishing dock, but it's not connected to land. I have two cans of sardines and tomato soup that I found here. That's about it. I'm grateful to have the shelter over my head and have the few, very, very few resources I have in the unfortunate bag that I found that didn't really have very much resource. I'm really nervous about making fire. Dry wood is definitely hard to come by. I found some matches which weren't working very good with how damp it is. Dude, everything is so wet. So I have to learn how to make fire in damp situations, which has been damn near impossible. I feel bad burning somebody's journal. Maria, amigos. I think it's in Spanish. I always had big dreams, even when I was a little kid. I'm originally from Honduras. When I was 15, I went to the United States to go to school and to work. My mom was already in California. Mama. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, qué bueno. But my dad and my two brothers have to stay in Honduras. It's hard to be away from my brother right now. I just want to see my family. I saw some towels hanging in the back. I was thinking, gotta be someone around here. rotten. I walked into the jungle with every intention to find somebody. We're finding a new place to stay, a better place to stay. There's nobody on this island. There is definitely someone over there. Close. 
Keep talking so I can hear your voice. Okay. Ah! Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> this is not something you do in Nashville. You're almost to me. I'm right here. I see you! Come on, girl. Give me a freaking <laughs> hug. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You okay? Yes, I'm so good. Well, I had the find of the century. What? Are you ready to go see it? Yes, I'm ready. Come on. <gasps> Wait, look at this. Right? This is amazing. You have like a whole house. Well, here, put your stuff down. This is what I brought from the your bag. From your bag, yes. Here's your journal. No way. Thank you. Yeah, of Thank course. You. Oh my god. And then, most importantly, <laughs> snacks. Snacks. Well, you didn't read my journal. I didn't read your journal, no. Okay. That humidity is no joke. Just moving around, trying to gather things is, it's tough. Hell yeah. Oh, it's, oh, no, it's a woman's bag. Oh my God, rosemary peppermint detangling. I have somebody's journal and uh, I started reading it. Her life is pretty crazy. I'm trying so hard to tell myself it's okay to be scared. I need to release control and just let, let this, this all happen. happen. I got this. I live down in the jungle of Maui. We live off the grid. It's been very difficult with my family. All right, we got it back. If I stay here, I fear that I will never fulfill my dreams. I will live on this property forever, and my family will continue to suffocate me. Jeez. I just can't take it anymore. I have to get out of here. This is my last sunset. Oh my gosh. I know. Your last sunset on Maui. Mm-hmm. But I have one favor to ask of you. I am the protector of everyone in the family when people are being mistreated or anything like that. <laughs> so you gotta protect them now. <laughs> think you can do that? I think I could do that. It's a beautiful way to spend the last evening though. With my brother. I walked down the beach and I found a bag. It belonged to another woman. And I looked inside the journal and her name was Terry. And her parents are not doing so well is what I gather. <sighs> My heart goes out to her. If I look over my life experience, my life's been all over the map. So to suddenly come home and be a caregiver for my parents, I thought would be wonderful because I always felt really close with my family. So it felt like the transition would probably be an easy one. Here you go. Oh, thank, thank you, Terry. You're welcome. <laughs> we don't know what to anticipate with my mom's dementia. <laughs> I would have never guessed really in a million years how hard it would be. I have dreamed my entire life that I'd get dropped on a deserted island. I don't mind being alone. I think I'll be just fine by myself.
You want to come out here and fish? Yeah. So the last time I went fishing with my son, <laughs> guess who caught one and guess who didn't? Your son. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho! At a boy! Yeah! <laughs> oh my God, I got one. I caught one. Ah! Oh! Yay, yay! That would be some good eating right there. Oh no, we need to save it. I'm just gonna eat when it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, I hope that I'll be the same. I was thinking about is get to more people. I did set up those bottles so somebody could find them and eventually lead them the way I went. I really hope I don't have to do this alone. I would not want to be in my life back at home alone. We all have our own problems in our life. You know, nobody knows that I live in a shelter. So I just make do. You just have to overcome whatever life throws at you. You just gotta be persistent. I'm pretty much the caretaker of four generations of family. I'm exhausted. It's taken its toll on me. I absolutely think you need people in your life to support you. This theme keeps reoccurring in my life with rescue. I'm praying for success that we get these girls out of this situation. You need others to get through things like this. Who made these for you? Brooke did. It's so sweet. That's the first thing I notice is how awesome your family is. And are these your parents? Yeah. That's mom. That's Aww. dad. Adopted. Adopted? I am. You're adopted? Mm -hmm. Really? Uh-huh. And this is my biological mom. Oh, okay. Mom and I decided that this is something that once you all got old enough, then I would be able to, to tell y'all. When I was born, Graham and I were abandoned by my biological father. And we made do. We lived with my grandma and papa, and we lived with my aunt and uncle. And then when I was nine, Graham married Papa G. And I was adopted by Papa G when I was 12. So I'm very curious to find my biological father. And I think that I have some half brothers as well. And I have no idea, I've never met them. I don't know like if they're fat or skinny or if they have issues or, you know, and I'm just curious about all that kind of stuff. It's gonna help me mentally. And I really believe that with a healthy mind, becomes a healthy body. Abandonment, if anyone's ever felt that way, it's gonna affect you. So as a grown up, I'm like, well, that's something that I decided like, I'm not, no matter what, I'm not gonna do it. Mm-hmm, you learned from it. But like, why would you put somebody through that? Like, I just think it's like ridiculous. Well, that kind of stuff happens. Some people just go their separate ways. So, you know, like even for you is like, I'm not gonna leave you. I mean, I don't, I don't want that to happen. I think together we can help each other. We'll, um, I wanna fish for just a little bit while it's still early. You sit tight. Robbie has a very warm and welcoming personality, but it's hard for me to 
imagine not doing everything on my own. I'm just so independent. Two brains are better than one, but you're cutting into your resources. Here comes the rain. We're out here to survive. This is survival mode. So I always have my guard up a little bit. Sleep good last night. I was freezing. I was shivering. You could feel it. You were shaking. The boards were shaking. <laughs> shivering. Yeah, that was bad. That's how you get sick. Yeah. Today, I want to explore the island a little bit more, like down this shore. Then I'm going to hit the woods and get. Uh, get the leaves. Yeah. I try to keep a balance in my life between relationships and my immediate goals. I do have a trust issue out here. Even with Robbie, I don't know him. I don't know who he really is. Right now, I'm choosing to be selfish. I'm gonna take this time to like work on myself and do my own thing. It's all music, for sure. Because, like, you think if you have me, you can't have music. I'll still never understand that. Sometimes I just feel like you don't live in a real world. <laughs> you mostly focus on yourself and not those around you. I wanted to believe in you, but you're always your own number one, and that won't work with a relationship. All those flags were there day one. Never changed. I should have just left when I knew it was over. I just, I wanted so to... should I. I mean, we both should have. I'm sorry that it turned out like this. Kenzie went on a scout to look for coconuts. You can see her footprints in the sand, but there's no Kenzie. If she's found a better spot, you know, then she has abandoned me. Abandonment, man, is tough. Because things aren't going to change here. They're only going to get tougher. And here I am all by myself. You know, those two days with someone else, it just made it easier. I don't know if I can do this alone. This season on Castaways. Finding more people would provide us with more resources. Hello! Swim across! And we don't want to survive. Hey, Angel. Whoa! We want to thrive. It is the hardest thing I've ever felt. Come on! It makes me want to cry. It makes me want to scream. Ah! It's torture. Ah! You've got to be freaking kidding me! You're always thinking that you deserve something. You don't deserve anything out here. But I know I can do this. I know I can. Yes! Got him! Woo! 
You have to have the will inside you, the will to survive and keep on pushing. Everybody has problems. It takes belief in yourself to overcome whatever you're facing. It's hard out here, but we can do this together. I have no idea when rescue's coming, but I hope for it every day.